Okay, this is a kind of a quickie tour on how to use the Wedge serial software in order to um, uh, update the databases on your indicator. First, you need to be you know hooked up to the to the indicator. You can plug directly into the serial port uh, that the printer uses using a special cable. Well, it ain't that special, but a cable nonetheless. And then what you would do is you'd go ahead and hit this button right here, which uh, will then bring up the, uh, it'll show where the indicator is and what COM port it's on. And then you hit continue, and it'll automatically download all the da databases that are in the, uh, in the indicator. Now, there are three databases in the indicator. One of them is the grower right here, the grower list. And the first column is the grower number and then the grower name, and then the address one, address two, and city state zip here. Now you can add rows. You could add a third row by hand and do that, but if you have a lot of them, that might take a long time. So what you would do is you go to import data, and you'd find a data, you'd find a comma separated value file that you can create using Excel. Just make sure that your columns are here. Uh, so this would be column one, this would be column two, column three, column four, and column five. Only use five columns and then save them, you know, in order. And you could have your whole list, save them in Excel as a CSV file. Then you'll be able to open it with Wedge and then just hit the upload and it'll automatically upload that data to the uh, to the indicator. So now I've just uploaded a third one that doesn't have anything in it. The same can be done with variety where you have all your varieties and with your Waymaster uh, stuff. So that way you can update all of your uh, all of your settings there. Okay? Hope that's helpful.